Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for Monday, August 15th, 2022. Well, my goodness, we had quite a rally in the afternoon uh, Friday after the House passed um, that deficit spending bill um, and tax increases. Um, a pretty strong move to the upside. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So after four straight weeks of winning, we have a little bit of a pullback showing in the pre-market here this morning. We are quite extended in the short term of the market, but the bulls are certainly in control here. And we have created some, some new levels in the chart that we'll want to consider here carefully. First off, we're up here testing this level in the Dow chart after stretching through that downtrend. And we have some additional support levels that have come into play here in the market. So now the question is, if we do get a little bit of a rest or consolidation, will we be able to hold these support levels? Take a look, if we were to consolidate out to here, that would be very, very bullish, but it may take us a, a better than a week to rest out sideways. And if we were to pull back, we wanna watch that opportunity opportunity that we could pull back into this support and trend and still find those bulls coming into play and move us on higher. So we got to be on the bullish side here unless something changes um, in the market. And let's take a look at our technicals. Our technicals also 50 day moving averages turned up. We've got our short term moving averages turned up. We have crossed up through our 500 day just sliced up through this stuff just like it wasn't even there and then we are up here testing our 200 day moving average as resistance um i think i would start to expect well i've been expecting it for a while just because um, we're, we've been so exuberant but expect um, a pullback or a consolidation that could occur at any time and then if we take a look at our um, spy SPY also very, very bullish, continuing to move in this upside trend very strongly. Um, as we stretch through this downtrend, we still have this support level in here that needs to be tested as support. So don't rule out that possibility of a little consolidation, a little pullback that may test this level of support. And that'll be the key area. Um, will we hold that area? Because I think if we were to slip there, that's where real concern would come into the market. There's no evidence of that, however, in these charts. The bulls are in control and our technicals remain strong. We don't have a little, little, we don't have too much there we go we don't have too much space to the upside before we test that 200 day in the um, spy as well so keep a close eye on that now if we take a look at our qqq our qqq seems to be one of the most extended indexes out there because we've been stretching big tech big tech led the way on friday um, as that bill passed. And as you can see, running up through here uh, pretty strongly, and we've broken through some resistance in the chart right here, and then we've uh, slipped right through that downtrend. Now the question, I think for the NASDAQ with the steep rally that we've had is will we be able to hold that if we start getting challenged in a pullback? So watch that carefully for this level in here to hold or if it fails, that's where a little bit of trouble could come into the market. 
on the technical side of things we're looking very very good notice that we've rallied up strongly our 50s turned up everything's looking pretty positive there we still have that 500 day and that 200 day substantially above here in the nasdaq and then if we take a peek at our iwm IWM has been remarkably strong this last week, just pressing and pressing and pressing to the upside as those small caps um, have been perking up and coming back above their 200-day um, moving averages. So keep an eye on that. Very, very strong here in this move. But I do want to point out that we're running into this congestion zone with substantial price resistance right through here so you'll want to watch that area pretty closely um, IWM could be um, and, and in the, in the past we would often see IWM actually lead the market and give us the clues um, to an upside move or a downside move certainly they're showing us that leading here um, continuing to stretch to the upside so watch that carefully but I will say I think in the short term this is pretty overextended and we probably should expect a little bit of rest or pullback. Remember, a market that just goes straight up tends to come down hard and can be really disappointing if you chase in right at the last uh, move of the market. So just watch that closely. I'm not saying Friday was the last um, uh, move of that kind of exuberant push, but we'll want to watch that closely in case it does falter just a little bit. And then let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX dropping, continuing to drop along this downtrend line. So we're certainly in control. The bulls are certainly in control. One thing I am worried about, however, is that we're reaching a point of complacency. We have pressed, we've ignored the fact that the FOMC is going to continue to raise rates. We have ignored much of the economic indicators out there. The fact that we are still at an eight and a half percent interest or inflationary rate. And um, we probably have gotten just a little bit complacent here. So be kind of careful at any point in time if the market does turn like we're seeing this morning. You could maybe see this move back up. But again, we have no problems with that as long as we maintain this downtrend. And I think if we stay below that 25 handle here in the chart, I think we're going to be fine. If we rally back into here, we could just continue to push on lower then. So watch that close. Bulls are still in control. And then if we take a look at our T2122, this is my biggest concern, continues to be my biggest concern because we are so extended and we've been maintaining this elevation um, in T2122 for longer than we have seen for some time here in the market showing us kind of that exuberance maybe here in the market and possibly a little bit of over exuberance as we continue to extend and if we take a look um, here we're pretty close to just being pinned right against the top of T2122 so don't be surprised see a little bit that we can go sideways we can get a sideways consolidation and rest that will pull T2122 down and we could also see that pullback that would pull T2122 down so watch that closely I think we should be expecting for it at any time but the exuberance of the market continues to carry through so cannot rule out that possibility that they will just continue to press and press to the upside then let's take a look at our t2107 now t2107 did a really good job last week extending up but we do want to consider the fact that we are pretty extended here in that short-term move now we need to see proof that we've broken that downtrend now we need to see the proof that we can hold it as a support and pulling back into an area like this or pulling back into here would not be out of the question with just a little bit of rest in the market so watch that closely if that pullback does begin and our t2108 is also showing us a pretty extended condition here notice um 
this is as far back as I can pull this back on a daily. And notice it's pretty rare for us to move up here with more than 80% of the stocks above their 50 day, or excuse me, above their 40 day moving average. And although we have done that a couple of times, that has been at those really exuberant highs that we've seen here in the market. So be really careful. We're at that point where we may be just, we, we, we may have gotten just a little bit too excited um, um, and we need a little bit of rest in the market. So a we'll pullback in here, as long as we can hold some of these levels in here, I think we'll be in good shape. What we don't wanna see is we don't wanna see that full reversal that pulls us back down into here. That would be pretty damaging for the market. And then if we look at our T2101, once again, T2101, it turned up here just a little bit on Friday, but I gotta tell you, I'm still concerned um, here in the market because if we take a look at our diamonds chart, even though we rallied so strongly here, our volumes are just not coming up to um, the normal average. And um, if we look across the indexes, it's the same. So we continue to stretch to the upside on lower um, than expected volume. And that does make me concerned that institutions may not be fully committed to this upside move. So watch for that carefully. We could get those nasty reversals if they don't fully commit to these prices. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Um, and our economic calendar, we've got a couple of things that we're gonna have to pay attention to. We've got Empire State Manufacturing coming in here this morning. That has been weak, perhaps that will improve just a little bit. And then our housing market index, which of course we've seen declining um, as a result of the interest rate um, issues out there in housing. So we'll wanna watch that uh, closely as well. We're gonna have a Fed speaker here this morning, a couple of bond auctions, and then that Treasury International Capital at four, which we won't have to worry about. As we progress through the week, notice we're gonna have some housing data here. Um, housing starts and permits, industrial production. Retail sales is probably gonna be one of the bigger numbers of the week, um, how that comes out. More Fed speak, petroleum status. We've got an FOMC minutes um, coming out here. So we'll want to watch that. We know that the Fed members continue to come out and say, hey, we're going to keep raising rates. Um, you might want to pay attention to that. So um, and then we've got jobless claims, Philly Fed existing home sales here on Thursday. And then we're going to roll into that Friday with not much to be all that concerned about. So um, kind of an interesting calendar for the week. If we take a look at our earnings calendar, our earnings calendar is um, softening just a little bit. Um, as we have kind of gone through the bulk of earnings reports here, we'll still have several um, reports in there, market moving type reports, salt and peppered into all of these small caps. But we're going to be reaching that point where um, not a lot of market moving reports um, in here. So that inspiration um, on on earnings will be slowing down um, here a little bit. We're gonna have to rely more on the economic data for price movement. Um, a few charts though this morning that we wanna be paying attention to that I've put in here for Notable. Um, BLND might be something you wanna watch. It's only a $3 stock. Again, we're gonna be a lot more of these little small caps that aren't really market movers. We've got WWE. Uh, World Wrestling is going to be in there. We've got Zip. Zip will be reporting today. We'll, uh, COMP um, will be reporting today. Um, FN. So um, just not the kind of stocks that move us a ton. Um, so you'll want to keep an eye um, on these if you're particularly if you're in them, but just realize that some of that maybe some of that um, earning speculation will start to die down here a little bit. If you want to catch that full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog for that full list. Now let's take a look 
at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave that brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. Now, I apologize the last couple of days, um, I didn't get a chance to do my job and answer um, a lot of those um, 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 comments because um, I was traveling. I had to um, uh, take off to go visit my daughter for her birthday. So took um, a Friday afternoon off early and I didn't get a chance to answer all those questions. I had a seven hour drive ahead of me. So if um, you guys uh, would um, continue to do that I will make sure and I will be answering those comments uh, today and be back on that case thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that and once again thank you so much for the folks that continue to support the channel through buy me a coffee you guys are truly awesome let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember guys these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you want to do your due diligence here and be very very careful in a market like this that has extended so much you'll want to make sure that if you're looking at long trades make sure they're not overstretched to the upside because that pullback could be substantial now i want to mention here that we still have a very significant thing going on with our u.s dollar our u.s dollar um, as you'll notice is extending back higher here today so that u.s dollar is going to have some negative effect as as the dollar goes up that's going to have some negative effect on commodity prices um, but it's also having a substantial stressing effect on what's going on in other countries so you'll want to keep an eye on that as that dollar stretches to the upside that's going to have some very interesting effects here in the market so look for some of those commodity prices to be lower today take a look at energy energy had been extending up and it's looking like it could xle could catch a little bit of a double top right here if um, um, that dollar continues to extend now one of the reasons that that dollar is doing what it's doing is our bond prices continue to stay um, unbelievably um, inverted and we've been ignoring um, that for some time so you'll want to keep an eye on that if that dollar continues to surge to the upside that could create some fluctuations in gold silver metals um, anything in food commodity prices, food related stocks could um, run into a little trouble. Now, mentioning that food related stocks, take a look at Hormel. Now, Hormel has been holding in here pretty nicely in an upside trend. And we know that there's a lot of concern about food prices and those uh, potential increases that are still on the way here um, in those prices. So watch that carefully. I think we've got a reasonable setup uh, coming in here on Hormel. Keep a close eye on that. And I've been seeing stocks like um, Campbell Soup moving up very nicely here, showing lots of upside strength, um, breaking through resistance levels. Now we are approaching some resistance in the chart, but keep an eye on those. We're seeing uh, some of these defensive sector food related stocks pushing up. Um, other places, take a look at um, CCJ, now you guys know that I have a little bias here. I'm holding this and that dollar extending to the upside is going to hurt this position today, I think. So I'm watching that closely. It could stop me out, but I've been watching some of these alternative energy um, type stocks, uh, CCJ being a, um, a uranium type play. You might want to keep an eye on that kind of a mining stock. Watch that carefully. If the dollar gets really strong, that could fail here in that chart. But if that dollar pulls back, look for that opportunity that that might pop on through and hold into that trend. Um, you might also take a look at some of these steel stocks that have been very, very strong. Steel has ran up exceedingly hard um, here recently as that dollar pulled back but I'm worried with the dollar can, um, starting to stretch back higher we might actually break some of these trends and pull these back so 
there might be some shorting opportunities in some of these metals, um, energies, and things coming up here um, very, very soon in the charts. Take a look at stocks like Etsy. Etsy has been extremely strong, continuing to run in this trend. You'll want to consider this substantial price resistance in the chart and look for a little rest or pullback in that. But we could see these stocks just kind of consolidate and rest out here a little bit and then continue to move on to the upside. So watch some of those looking pretty good to the upside. Now you guys know that I am in TLT and that weakening dollar that came in last week hurt my TLT position. I'm still holding this and I want everyone to understand that I'm holding this as a longer term trade. Um, I do believe that we're probably going to get uh, bonds coming back up here eventually. So I built a small position in it and I will be adding to that position. If you notice here on the weekly, you can kind of see that little bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern that could be setting up. So keep an eye on that. Other charts out there, there's just so many good looking charts out there um, uh, you guys know that I was mentioning UPS from all the way back here um, that moved up nicely held a nice little support moved on through to the upside now we're pressing some resistance levels in the chart that you'll want to be thinking about take a look at AMD AMD pushed up here nicely pushing through some resistance a little rest or pullback in here is still holding watch for that opportunity if we can find that inspiration um, in these markets to continue to push higher then that could push right on through i wouldn't rule out the possibility of a little bit of a pullback in some of these stocks take a look at apple apple has been on such an incredible rally to the upside kind of kind of over exuberant if you ask me and watch these resistance levels up here in the chart a pullback um, certainly could be on the way and you'll notice there's not a whole lot of price support over in here under any of this move so um, it could be a kind of a painful or a substantial pullback or a longer consolidation in that chart we may have just gotten a little bit carried away in some of these stocks so be careful and watch for some of those they could be those potential short plays if we take a look at stocks like bmy bmy now this was setting up absolutely short in the chart um, um, failing here at, its, at this 50-day moving average that had flattened and started to roll but one of the things i want to point out is we can pop through that 50 day moving average in reverse. And we've seen that like right in here um, in the chart. So watch that carefully. This may still, although it's been trying to push really hard to the upside on this bullishness that we've seen in the market, I think this is still substantially weak and I would watch for that potential short if that starts pulling back. So there's a few trades for you to look at. Some of them are really kind of thinking short because I do believe we're overextended. Futures this morning are pointing to a little bit of a lower open. Um, so I would watch that carefully here today as well. I wanna wish you all a fantastic morning. I wanna wish you a great day of trading. Thanks so much for being here and I'll talk to you very soon, bright and early, Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best.